Rachel that prey on Ezreal is not an afterthought because <laughs> that man is one amazing Ezreal. And there's the poppy. They actually uh, give it over to Smeb in this one. I uh, don't expect him to bully Darshan, uh, you know, just because they have. Uh, they've been able to track the enemy junglers really well, but Peanut actually goes right by it, but who he level right one down. Bro. Prey gets hit. Yes, it is the roam. That fog of war toggle on the top side. Whoa. Oh. Tunnel vision on the jugglers and it's the Rock's Tigers. That's the thing, you can't stay predictable. We talked about, yeah, he likes to play this lane aggressively. Oh, they're on the gorilla Afro now. Move. A few shots coming out of Peacemaker oh, through Gorilla. Five, and it's gonna be Afro Moo that picks up the next kill. That's beautiful layering that headbutt pulverize into range in time. That allowed him to... Uh-oh, Afro has no flash, remember? Afro definitely pulling out the Rome card today. It might get him in trouble here on this one. A great block by Stixay on the Q, a Q coming out from Gorilla. Uh -oh. But Smeb's teleport on point. He's going to get one more shot, and as the chase happens towards Tribrush, and Afro is going to try to walk this one now. They get to kill the Prey, so it's a few assists left and right. The minion wave is crashing to top, so of course we'll take touched on. The big yeah. thing about Aurelian Soul, who we see on our screen, is also the build path. You can go so different with it, but we're seeing Whoa. that ganking ability. Ghosting gonna early walk right here. into this fight. They have backline immediately, but Prey has scattered beautifully. Gorilla going to the other side. He has flashed, probably going to hold it as he goes down. But again, the attack from CLG on bot lane. And there's a reason. Gold and their teleports right now. That's why neither of them wants to really give up ground because of the playmaking ability of teleport. Gets the passive out of Kuro. There's going to be enough. And the voice of light drops Kuro, who he picks it up. Really smart stuff from CLG. We saw Kuro reflect the Rasnar, and that really is, you know, the uh oh. That's the oh, that's right, Kogu. <laughs> a peacemaker through Gorilla. He is gonna get dropped most likely, but pray the bodyguard comes in. Six A's out of mana and peanut over the wall. Flash knock up onto him. The rest of the team is closing in. New challenges approach oh. from the top side. And that's gonna be the prey seeker hit coming in. Beautiful job, Peanut with the swipes. Gorilla is gonna go down as Six A has fallen as well. And that's damage for CLG that they're not gonna have here in this fight. Seems like who he's a bit scattered. Darshan on the outside as they try to drop Peg Prey. They don't have a priority focus here. So and it looks like so in the deep. walkout, they can't help Darshan. Prey is an absolute monster. Darshan's not hey, done yet, but I honestly, that is a highlight Prey, like, right? I, that that big that big inside enemy territory. What I want people to take away from that is the fact that he never stops doing damage, never not going right. for Mystic Shots, never zone, but this time, GLP. maybe. One of my favorite things about a player is that they fight to the very last breath because your teammates can still pull that fight. Around Darshan, doesn't have flash this time, so he'll be able to make it. Oh, he turned around, he gave him the knock up. He may also get the slow for himself an off range. the boomerang. This is uh, semi closing from Smab. He has turned around on the null zone. Is going to be doing good oh. damage to Darshan. There is enough. And Smithy actually left him there. Smithy was very close in the. Exactly. They've actually used this time very wise. They have almost complete control on the inside track. Aframu. Rox has always been able to answer CLG's kill. Now CLG again wants oh. to answer back. Rinse and repeat as they go to the top side. And a double kill for Huhi. This is something we have sorely missed. Aframu on the Thunder Cow with Ignite. Go button just smashing it over and over again. The new age barn pick didn't really work for him the last time out, but bringing back the Alistair still going. Smab's gonna be getting hit on this one. He throws back a bit of damage, but oh, ooh, he wants to chase a few more autos. Six A in range and Six A picks up. Lanes, that's how you hinder the rotations of Rock Tigers. You know, and whoa, stifle the income. Whew. A headshot coming over from Stixa. Voice of Light causing Gorilla to flash. They're on a smithy now. He should definitely go down in this fight, but gets himself out. Beautiful heal as he was hopping away from Aframu. Just a little triumphant roar. And Rox is trying to focus these kills, trying to edge out a little bit more as they watch X Smithy and other champions get away with a sliver of health. Now Darshan starts to attack back with the rest of the team. Finds Peanut by himself. Who's going to pick this one up? Who he gets it with the stars and puts another one on the board. And they have pressure on two lanes. They can pick up now and never give their any inch. There isn't a nocturne to turn this game on the head. Sure, late game team fighting, but I don't know if we're going to see a late game. That's a very good point. This is zero hesitation, CLG. Under the turret could be a little scary for him, and it's going to be one, two down now. If Smithy falls, but it's Takuro and Prey. With just about two to 300 health between Huki and Darshan, they're oh, going to start Peanut. backing off. Peanut could get a pop. It's up. time yet. Yeah. Kalen is just too safe. Smab, though. 
There's the ghost. Blinking. Ghost from Kuro. He's trying to get the hit from Smab. They're right on a stick say. He goes down. They were waiting for the moment to pull the trigger. And who he's going to do a bit of damage to keep them at bay. It's not a Narbar from Darshan. They're not going to be too scared of it, but they are able to still group in mid lane. He's going to try to build that up Enough. now, but they do recognize the attack, and they say, there's nothing for Darshan. We can engage here. Xmithy going too far. is forced to flash and cleanse out for himself. Prey very low on the outside, and Darshan's able to pick up Prey. As they get back into the fight, Kuki was just doing tick after tick. Of bush. Looks like he is, and Prey as well. Here's your test, Papa. Oh. Very tanky. Level 15, 9, 0, oh! 2, Blows up Prey! Holy crap! Leaves the rest of the team to do so as they try to get away now. Smed, Keeper's Verdict, has no say in this fight. And he's gonna be the next focus. A Gnar out from Darshan causes the rest of the Rocks to turn away. And they get just that rocked out of the fight. And who he passes the test with flying colors! 100% spray before Smed even arrives! wonder why this Aurelian soul was not targeted. The information was out there. Everyone knew it was available against it. The bounce getting low. Now for a moon at fast spot, able to use the unbreakable will to crush Curl's ultimate. They're still trying though. Rox sees these entries, but CLG's able to just act on them. These are the chances Rox has to get back in. Darshan's now gonna get Pina in the top side. And it seems like CLG is able to stop that engage from Rox Tigers every time. The big question. What does a team fight that the Rocks Tigers win even look like, Kobe? Maybe we're not even going to see a team fight because here's the gank crew. Snap, this could be Huhi over the wall. They get the GLP slow and they get the rest of the slow from the boomerang. This is a Guardian Angel going down? He didn't have one. I thought he did at the end. So many effects. That was Darshan's. Game as CLG try and take another inhibitor turret. In. Map coming in. Keeper's verdict. How many does he get? That's going to be Xmithy. It's Dixay out of the fight. Huhi, Afro, Mu, and Darshan. Oh! A huge Nar on Ultimate against the wall. Pray now with Stixa 1v1 as he tries to get out of the fight. Kuro and Prey are down. That's the DPS. That's the fight as Rox runs for the fountain for Solace. And Pina does everything he can. Going for broke with the last knockup. But Darshan's gonna follow him all the way home. And he's gonna look for more kills. Showing up on the world stage after having a troublesome season. The rest of CLG coming together as well here to pick up another victory at Worlds to go 2-1 in the first week. Green deserves the hugs and the praise. Who he given his Aurelian soul and who he shows up. No other way to put it. Who he was by far the MVP. Not going to be any drama about the analysts trying to come up with one this game. And the draft was so strong from Zix and the playstyle as well. Sure, it's only.